YouTube, it's Marvie Jeanette, and I'm back with another video. As always, first off, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Like the numbers are just steadily increasing, and I'm forever grateful to each and every one of you. As always, drop me a comment after you subscribe. Um, and hit the bell notification and I'll go and subscribe to your channel and hit the bell notification and also check out your um, content and we'll just keep growing together. Um, so on my last video, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched it and for all of the responses that I received here on YouTube, on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you so much for the feedback. feedback. Um, I definitely appreciate it. And um, I just wanted to cover a few things in this video regarding my last video. Um, and the first thing is um, because I received DMs of people asking me if it's real, does it work? As I stated in my last video, do not take my word. Don't take anybody's word. When it comes down to money, don't take anybody's word. If I say, if I present things to you and I always say, but do your research, but you research it for yourself and you form your own opinion and you make a decision based on uh, what's suitable for you, whatever is gonna be beneficial to you and what you have going on. Don't, don't take my word. I'm not a financial advisor. I can only tell you what I've been doing or what I do and what works for me. From there, you form your own um, opinion and you make your own decision. Every decision that you make is solely on you. What I do, I invest in stock. I have an account with Robinhood and it is growing. I started it this year and it has been growing on a consistent basis. That's my truth. Now, um, your truth is whatever you make it to be. If you choose to invest, then so be it. Um, I'm just giving you information on what, what I do and what has been working for me. Um, and to the people who are, I guess I would say who are feel, fearful of venturing out and, um, not because they just don't have the money, but because they're, they're fearful. They, they really don't understand the stock market until you get to that point. Um, you can still save money. You can still begin to save money. You might say, how can I begin to save money? It's very simple. Budget. Alter your spendings and your accounts to at least, I would say starting off, at least to, at least try to save $100 a month. Just take $100, I don't know if you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, or just break it up. Or if you get paid weekly, do uh, $25 a week. If you get paid bi-weekly, do $50 per pay period. And monthly, then you're gonna have to move some things around and take that $100 out and just put it back, put it into your savings account. If you don't have a savings account, then put it under your bed mattress. I know before I got grown and when I was living in the house with my parents, um, I did have a, a checkings account, maybe a savings account, but under my mattress, I had money. So you could definitely do that starting off just to, so that you don't just have zero dollars. Start off with a hundred dollars. At the end of the year, you'll have $1,200 saved up. And then each time, each year you can try to, you know, up it until you get uh, comfortable if you want to venture out and to start uh, investing it or you could just put back hundreds a hundred dollars until you get up to a million or however you want to um, figure it out and divide it up and until you get to that savings that that you desire um, as I forestated I do that also I put money back monthly but um, there's a big part of me who wants uh, a return quicker than just putting money back. So I decided to invest in stocks. Um, so I did mention in my last video that I would uh, give you all stocks of the week. And um, I am going to do that. But when I give you all these stocks, don't just start transferring money in and buying in. Don't do that follow the stock and read up on it, see what it is and how it's been versus where it's at. And then you form your opinion and you make your decision based on that, all right? I just wanna make that extremely clear. Don't just, 
Don't go by what I say or anybody else. Don't take anybody else's word because at the end of the day, you need to be solely satisfied and solely happy with the decision that you chose to make. So take time. It's not a rush decision. You don't have to be antsy. Take your time. Stock market is still going to be there. Those stocks are still going to be there. And you just need to watch them to see how they're um, ascending and descending. Um, so two, two regular stocks that I would tell you all to I follow. Follow Hexo. That's H-E-X-O and ACB. Those are both pot stocks. Um, pot is being legalized. So some of the stocks are taking off. Those are kind of, kind of uh, cheaper um, opposed to like canopy growth and stuff like that who's already up to two, like 40 something dollars I think. Um, so Hexo and ACB research those see if it's going to be a good fit for you and also as far as like the cryptocurrency which is like Bitcoin it's the brief description or story that I told about uh, Bitcoin, how it was 3700 in March, and then it's it was up to like 8300 and how that jumped. So, cryptocurrency Dogecoin, aka Doggy Coin, uh, that's D O G E C O I N, and um, it's less than a dollar, it's like 0. 0.002 or maybe 0. 0.003 something. So, it's very inexpensive. Um, so if you put about ten dollars on it, you come out with I don't know three thousand. I can't really remember uh, some shares of it. So uh, I invested in that um, maybe like a month or so ago. So research that, research that, research that. I mean, if it takes off and um, and you put ten dollars in it, and if it hit a dollar, then you got what? three thousand dollars so just research it and do the math and see if it's gonna fit you um see if it's gonna fit you i'm believing i'm hoping that it hits a dollar if it hits a dollar then we gonna be all right if you hit me you feel me you gonna be all right <laughs> yeah so uh hexo acb and dogecoin uh, follow those. Those are my three stocks that I'm giving you all for this week. Also, remember, decisions that the decisions that you make are solely your decisions. I'm just giving you all information and input on what I'm doing and how it has been working for me. Uh, obviously, we're getting in at different time, different points. If you all choose to, because I've been in for a while, so of course I got in when they were cheaper than what they are now. So just like I, like I said, just do your research, follow it, watch it, and then make your decision um, as to whether or not you want to jump in and invest in them or not. So that's ways to invest in stocks and also other ways invest and save in stock and then just putting back like $100 a month. Alter your budget. Don't go out to eat every day. I, I was talking earlier and um, I spent $10 on lunch today. And I was like, man, if I had to do that every day this week, that's gonna be $50 for the week when I could just spend $30 on groceries and, and that'll cover me for the week. So it's just little tweaks, you know, such as that, that can really save you. That's $20 that would be saved. So if you gotta cut out eating out or um, shopping or whatever it is, you know, just cut out some things just so that you can benefit from it greatly later. Um, and I, and I do believe that, you know, you'll be happy with it. Who doesn't want to save money? She does. I want to save money and that's what I'm doing. And I just want to help you all along the way. Uh, so those are my stocks for the week. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. As always, click that like button, subscribe button, and the bell notification button so that each time I upload content, you can be informed. All right, until next time, may peace and blessings be unto you all. Thank you. Yeah.